Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Amp Caboose here, bringing you another gameplay commentary. And what you're seeing in the background is some Injustice Gods Among Us gameplay. I'm using the Aquaman uh, Flashpoint skin. And recently, I have been learning some pretty good combos with these characters. I went from somebody who thought, like, a 20% hit combo was good. But, like, just recently with Green Lantern and with Aquaman, I've been hitting, like, 30 to 32% hit combos. Which is actually really good in my opinion, you know, I'm not the most experienced fighting game player in the world. So, yeah, and by the way guys, uh, tell me if you guys would ever actually like to see a video, like a, a combo video. Like some of the combos that I can do with the characters, uh, you know, like with Aquaman and with Green Lantern. And I can do some cool ones with Batman. Um, and I'll learn some others and maybe just make a combo video. But yeah, if you guys would like to see that, definitely comment below and let me know about that. But, unfortunately, this commentary is about some of the bad news that we've gotten in Injustice. The, apparently the coding was leaked, and it revealed the rest of the DLC characters, which, which really bothers me. If you saw my last video, it was just a joke video for fun. Uh, I was just thinking about it, and I was just like, you know, that's exactly how I feel. But, I wanted to give a little more in-depth and a little more serious version of my thoughts. So, let's get right into it. The three final DLC characters that are to be announced are Batgirl, or apparently, are Batgirl, Scorpion, and General Zod. Now, if you watched one of my earlier videos in which I talked about which are the four DLC characters that I want to be in the game, General Zod was one of them. So I'm completely glad about that, but man, the rest of them, it's really bad. So our first confirmed DLC is Lobo. And that is good. Lobo is cool. Lobo has been in such high demand by everybody. But who in God's name wanted Scorpion to be in this game after that abomination of a game that we call Mor or Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe? Like, in all honesty, you made a mistake once, putting DC and Mortal Kombat in the same game. So why, why would they even attempt it again? I mean, this is, the, it's funny because I can see this happening. I can see them going, you know, everyone's pretty much expecting us to do some Mortal Kombat type thing in this game. So why not have a DLC character be a Mortal Kombat character? You know, and it's, that's what bothers me the most. Because it's like, they talk about how this is something new and this is just a new game for them. And it's just, you know, it's a break from Mortal Kombat. But yet, one of the DLC characters is apparently a Mortal Kombat character. Really, really, really bothers me. I cannot stress how much I dislike the fact that Scorpion is going to be in this game. Hopefully, I pray to God that this information is fake. Honestly, because the only person that's good on this list so far is Lobo and General Zod. And I did not spend 1,200 Microsoft points for two DLC characters. I spent it for four. Batgirl, everyone will complain about because she's a Batman character, which I don't care the fact that it's a Batman character. I just care about the fact that over anybody, over all the highly demanded characters that people want in this game... You landed on Batgirl. Batgirl. There could be Red Hood. There could be Martian Manhunter. There could be Swamp Thing. Uh, people want Static Shock really badly. But you landed on Batgirl. I don't know whose decision it was to put Batgirl in this game. But my goodness. It's so stupid. It's... It, honestly, guys, it bothers me. Like, I, I'm i so disappointed. It, like, everything was going really good with NetherRealm. This was, like, something new, so much fun. Loved the story, loved the online in this game. But when I hear this news, I almost feel as though I want to boycott completely playing this game when the DLC is released. I won't because I do like to get the gameplay out for you guys. And recently, a lot of people have been enjoying my injustice gameplay but my goodness it's upsetting and the last i believe is general zod which i'm happy about because i i wanted general zod to be in it 
because you know there once again although I don't really care there's a lot of Batman characters and you know it'd be kind of cool to see a little more Superman characters considering those are the two main guys in the game and yeah there is quite a few Superman characters we got Doomsday and Lex Luthor uh, I don't know if there's any more there's probably some more that I'm totally forgetting about but uh, you know it'd be cool to see just another villain in there from the Superman universe or even another hero from the Superman universe um, like e even if like there was like I don't know Supergirl or Power Girl or something I don't know I mean there's so much more characters that I would have chosen to be DLC other than Batgirl and Scorpion like you could replace black black girl black girl um you could replace a black girl <laughs> no I'm joking um but yeah you could replace Batgirl with Red Hood because Red Hood is probably next to Martian Manhunter one of the most highly demanded characters to be in this game they were so smart with the first DLC character choice but man if this like I I can't stress it enough I can't say more like I can't say it any more than I'm saying it right now if this is real this is uh, this is this sucks this is terrible honestly horrible choices for DLC because and and I've heard this too I've heard this from people so you know and it's completely true Scorpion and the Mortal Kombat universe as a whole is all about blood and gore and just murdering your opponents and considering this game is rated T for teen and the only blood that you're really getting is from a little bit from the super moves and the damage on your character that um, happens over the course of uh, a fight that you have. How would Scorpion do any cool things in this game? Like, you know, you can't do any fatality with him. You can't do anything over the top Mortal Kombat style with him due to the rating of this game. So it's pointless to have him in, but he's in it. So, all in all, this is disappointing and just horrible if it's true. I, like, honestly, I probably went on a rant there for a bit. Sorry if I did. I still hope you enjoyed this commentary. If you did, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I'm at Caboose. See you guys later.